now on Talking Solutions, want to welcome into the studio, Adam Rudd, you are CEO of Southern Hills Hospital. Yes, ma'am. So there must be some connection between Southern Hills Hospital and this brand new ER at the Lakes. When I got the press release, I went, I know that place, the coffee drive through that I'm at every day. I'd look at it and go, what is that exactly? Now it's my chance to ask you, Adam. It is the first of its kind in the state of Nevada and the first one in Las Vegas that it is a fully functional emergency room that's not attached to a hospital. So it's not one of the quick cares that are everywhere these days. It's not. It has board certified physicians and nurses that actually also work at the hospital as well. And so it is no different than walking into the ER at Southern Hills. We can care for all kinds of patients that come into this facility, you know, from heart attack to gunshot wound to anything, and make sure that that care is provided in the community where the patients live, opposed to having to find a hospital. It's more stationed where the population is. That is interesting because a quick care obviously is very limited in what they can provide in the way of services. But this is a full-blown emergency room. We have x-ray, we have CAT scan, we have a fully functional lab, and then all the equipment, ventilators, I mean, EKG machines, ultrasound, anything that you need inside this facility, we have readily available. And then transport, if you need to go to a facility somewhere in the city, wherever it's most appropriate, we do that as well. And it's 24-7. It's open all the time. All the time. I have a girlfriend who is a single mom, and she said, oh, you're going to talk to them. Will you please ask Adam Rudd from Southern Hills Hospital about ER at the Lakes? She has a seven-year-old, and she said, basically, you can't take a pediatric ER case just anywhere. And again, this is a fully functional ER. Sunrise Health is part of the system. We're owned with not only Sunrise, Mountain View, and us. We have a connection to the Sunrise Children's Hospital. So the protocols and things that they use, if you come in with a pediatric, a seven-year-old, to the ER at the Lakes, and there is something going on that needs immediate pediatric backup, our first phone call is to our sister hospital at Sunrise. Well, yeah, and Sunrise so, with kids, that's the place. That's right. So, you know, again, I think that as you see ER at the Lakes develop, I think you'll see us more specialize in children because the problem that you're talking about is a very common one in the city. I have a 9 and 10-year-old, and, you know, my son's going to break his ankle. It's coming, right? Oh, no. It's coming. He jumps down the stairs in socks on wood floors. It's coming. Well, it's because they are absolutely indestructible. That's right. That's right. But it gives me great confidence knowing that a few miles from my house, Instead of having to navigate the ER at the hospital, I can go into something that feels more like a clinic type setting, but it's a fully functional emergency room and we can serve the community where it sits and then decide if the patient needs to be admitted somewhere, where does that patient need to go? If you think about it, 80% of the patients that walk into any emergency room are discharged. They don't stay at the hospital. So if we can put the facility in the neighborhoods, it makes it easier on the patient. It makes it easier on our supporters. We are talking with Adam Rudd today, the CEO of Southern Hills Hospital, and we're discussing this brand new ER at the Lakes. It sounds like you've got a tremendous capacity. Did I see in the press release that you've got 12 different exam rooms? We do. We have 12 exam rooms that back up with all kinds of equipment. We have the board-certified physicians and the same nursing staff that's at many of our hospitals. And this was not a case where you just took the ER from Southern Hills Hospital and lopped it off and put it over here at the lakes. You actually expanded your capacity, I would imagine. We did, but it's a great way to think about it. The way to think about ER at the lakes is that it's a long hallway to Southern Hills. And it's no different than our emergency room there as far as what it can take care of, but also what it can do for any patient. We do a lot on Talking Solutions discussing medical topics. There are so many interesting things things that are happening with medicine these days. And I keep mentioning in our conversations the reasons why there's such a need for us to expand. I know in recent months, we've talked about things like video chats with your doctor, group appointments where you can have several people who maybe have a shared concern, medical vans even that come to you with appointments. Mm -hmm. So obviously, we're trying to come up with a lot of different approaches to medicine. We are. And thinking about the multiple reasons why that's important, certainly just the growth of Las Vegas, but also the maturing of our population. What a great place for seniors to move to here in Nevada. Those would, I imagine, be some of the factors why there is a need for an ER at the lakes. Absolutely. And this is the first one in the state. Is is. this a trend that you're seeing? 
It is. Across the country, this is something that is very popular, especially in Texas and Florida. And we're seeing them pop up all over the country. And if this is successful, I think that you'll probably see an expansion on that as well. I don't think there's any question it's going to be successful. Obviously, there's a need for it. Right. And being that you as CEO of Southern Hills Hospital, you guys know what you're doing anyway. I see the banners about how you're constantly with Southern Hills Hospital honored for being such a great facility and such a great place for people to work. You are successful with what you're doing. So you're seeing a need coming out to the community and saying we need another option out here. Well, I think the reason Southern Hills is successful is because of the doctors and our staff. I think that our physicians are the best in the country. I think our nurses and all the support staff that go along with that. When you come to Southern Hills, it's about the community. And we are able to provide that special touch just to you. We all know each other. We behave that way. You're almost part of our family. And I think that that's really important. And I think that's why Southern Hills is different than a lot of the other community hospitals in the area. We pride ourselves on that. And that culture is something that going forward is something that we really hope to keep because it makes us different. And when you come to Southern Hills, you're part of us. And we'll keep that as going forward. And ER at the Lakes will be no different. Well, the people who are staffing ER at the Lakes are as you mentioned previously, the same individuals that you will encounter with Southern Hills Hospital. They are. What we use it for, the ER at the Lakes, they're getting different exposure to different places, which provides the nurses a little bit better opportunity from a job standpoint. So what they're finding is they enjoy being in both settings because they're very different. And they get to work for Southern Hills, get to stay in the family, but also get to expand their horizons and expand what they do. And we're seeing that to be very, very popular. We are seeing so much growth in medical services across the board here in Las Vegas. We've got a lot of things happening here. And ER at the Lakes is pretty exciting. It's good to know if you need attention to whatever condition. A lot of times when I've stopped in to get something checked on, you're only dealing with maybe a physician's assistant or a nurse, but you actually have a lot more capacity for people to serve those who stop by ER at the Lakes. And the exciting part of that is more the time when we have an emergency. You know, if you cut your finger, for me, that's a big deal. And you want to be treated very quickly. And what we're finding at ER at the Lakes is right now averaging 75 minutes. From when you walk in the door to walking out the door, on average, it's 75 minutes, a little over an hour. We think that's going to be pretty competitive when you compare that to the other emergency rooms. Our first patient we had come through had a broken bone. She was in and out of the emergency room, casted with a copy of her x-rays in 42 minutes. You can't offer that in a hospital. And I think that's something that's exciting for the community because what they can do now is you don't have to sit in the ER for five and six hours. You can go get treated for whatever you need, especially if you have a seven-year-old like your friend. You can't keep a child sitting in the waiting room for hours at a time. This is in and out. And I think that that will be our goal with all of these is speed. Speed with high quality, highly structured care just for you. And if we can make that happen, I think it'll be a wonderful success. And we're seeing that happen. So I'm really excited about that. Nobody's looking forward to spending long periods of time in an emergency room. I know I've been beside a friend who's had a minor car accident. Accident, we've gone off to an ER, and hour after hour after hour passes by. That's not a fun way to spend your evening or whatever the time of the day it is. So this is a great option. ER at the Lakes, this is part of the changing landscape that is medical services. I think across the country, especially in in emergency room medicine, you're trying to figure out a way to get closer to the patient and also make sure that the emergency rooms, I mean, you know, one of the big problems we've got coming in February, March, and April in Las Vegas is every emergency room in the city is going to be jam-packed and the wait times go way up because flu and all the other things that hit that we see every year in Las Vegas. And I think what we're trying to figure out is how do you package a different product for our patients and our community so that if you're not in the middle of the flu and my son finally does break his ankle, that I can get him in and out and get him treated fairly quickly and get on with our lives, opposed to kind of getting caught up in some of the things that we've done the traditional way. You know, banking, grocery stores, everything is trying to figure out a way to do that. And I think with ER 
telemedicine, if we can offer personalized care very quickly with a high quality result, I think we're on to something that'd be huge. It's going to be hard to beat. I can't wait to share all this information with everyone that I work with here in the Beasley Media Group building because ER at the Lakes, the facility that we're talking about today, you're just a couple blocks away. It is. That's why I see it when I drive through for the coffee. (laughs) That's why the sign piqued my interest and that's why I'm so happy to hear about this. It sounds like this is the way that medicine is moving, as you said, into our neighborhoods. So it's closer by, but it's also a very high quality, a high standard of what we can encounter when we go there. Correct. Adam Rudd is with us today, CEO of Southern Hills Hospital, basically the parent of this new ER at the Lakes. It's an offshoot. It's like a whole nother emergency room, but it's not directly connected to the hospital. So there are so many resources, a lot of capacity, a lot of really high quality medical care that you can get right here in the neighborhood with your coffee after you go through the drive through <laughs> Hopefully I won't need that, but it's good to know that it's there. You're kind of the parent of this. Is it something that you had just heard about? Is it something that you've seen coming on the horizon? This will be my third one that we've opened. I've been with our parent company that opens these all over the country. I've opened two previously and they're wildly successful. And I think that what we'll find is it'll transform the way we do emergency room medicine in Las Vegas. And I think what you'll see if you look out 12 or 18 months is I think you'll see more. From us especially, I think you'll see us target a couple of areas and build at least one more if not two. And I think that it's coming very quickly. I don't know what it is with me in television viewing, but, you know, you got all the cable channels and I end up watching the planning commission for Clark County. So I see them talking about these really dry topics and a company will come in and say, we want to put five rehab hospitals in the valley and they'll plot them out and they'll say, "Okay, we just need approval so we can move forward. I'm seeing a lot of stuff happening down the road. It's obvious with the growth of the community. And as we mentioned previously, the age of the people who live here, I keep here in services over 50, a lot of us fall into that category. So I see a lot of things developing, but it sounds like this is going to be one of the most exciting things that's happening because this is a real change in the way that we can get our medical services. It is. You mentioned the the over 50 category. When you look at our zip codes around our hospital and, and what we call our primary service area, when you look at that over 50, the growth rate over the next five years is almost 19%. And when you get to the 65 and over, it's 30%. And so what we're really trying to prepare for as a hospital is how are we going to take care of these two demographics and how do we do that in the best way that we can make sure that all the services are in that southwest corner where Southern Hills lives. And I think you'll see us not only expanding in emergency room medicine, but I think you'll also see us expanding in psychiatric medicine. We have an 80-bed psych hospital that breaks ground next year. And then also looking for how do we train the physicians for the future? We have a graduate medical education program that starts in July. And what we're going to try to do is build a primary care base to take care of our patients because it's really hard to get into a primary care physician, but also make sure that we have all the services in the community so that we can provide care to our partners, which is our community. This is good. I know that I'm in your primary zips. I'm Mountain's Edge. And of course, we're here at the lakes. We've got Summerlin South. You've got Summerlin. There is a lot happening here in the southwestern area of the valley. So we've got Southern Hills Hospital and now this wonderful new offshoot. How long has ER at the lakes actually been open? I've noticed it over there a number of times now. It opened November 1st. So we're roughly six weeks in operation, and we could not be happier with everything that has gone. Our staff has done such an unbelievable job working through all the newness, but also really providing some unbelievable patient care. And, you know, we've got great stories and great wins. The other night we had a heart attack victim come in, and this is kind of a big deal from the medical community is when you're having what they call a STEMI, which is a fairly significant heart attack, what you're wanting is when we diagnose a STEMI, you want a balloon inflated in your heart as quickly as possible to get that blood flow started again. And when they hit the door and we figured out it was a STEMI, to balloon inflated, that included a transfer back to Southern Hills, was under 50 minutes. Whoa. And so what you saw was just a full commitment from our clinical teams on all three ends, right? The cath lab team, both emergency rooms, ER at the lakes, the ER on the main campus to make the communication, get ready, and then communicate with EMS to make sure that we get that patient over to a cath lab and have that and patients doing great. So, you know, again, just great outcome. And I think that goes to, again, back to our physicians and back to our clinical staff and all the ancillary support staff 
They just are committed to our patients. And I think that makes us different. There are so many medical conditions where I know time is of the essence. In fact, I just found out this morning about a friend who has had a major stroke. Anytime you have health conditions that can alter your life so tremendously, time is of the essence. So it actually makes good sense that if you've got something major or you're sensing that something major is coming on, go to some place that really can help make a difference. Not just diagnose in a casual way and say, well, gosh, we could do some blood work or we can take a look. This ER at the Lakes being a standalone emergency room has a great capacity to actually make a huge impact in a very time-sensitive medical issue. It does. And I tell you, I think that it's really exciting hearing the stories. And you know, you have a building and you can have all these great things, but it's really what are the results and what are the patients telling us? I've gotten a couple of letters already that are, thank you for doing this for our community. They weren't big illnesses, the two letters I got, but it was, I have a 90-plus-year-old mother who walked in and didn't really know what was wrong and the grace and the elegance and how you treated her. And, you know, it was a simple illness, but she was home in an hour. But the elderly have a way to come in a short distance from the parking lot to the front entrance. Pediatrics after hours, what a great fill-in. I think that's where we're starting to really see some great things is we're filling a hole in the community that's exciting, and we're excited about that. So when I noticed this new sign recently that said ER at the Lakes, I don't think until you know a little bit more about what ER at the Lakes actually is, a full-blown emergency room with all of the assorted options available, this truly is a new approach in getting us the best medical care. It sounds like I need to replace the sign, so maybe I'll start working on that <laughs> to get a bigger <laughs> sign. That's lights. right, bigger sign. Las Vegas style. That's light. right, right, bigger sign. But we've only been open six weeks. We wanted to make sure we had the operations set up and make sure everything was running smooth so that we didn't have any glitches with patients in the middle of it. And I think now, as we really feel we're fully operational, really clicking on all cylinders, you're going to see some more advertisements. You're going to see some more ads and a bigger side. And (laughs) and we'll go and we'll make sure the community knows we're there. And I think the best indication of how we're doing is going to be the patients that are there and how they go out in their community. Because, you know, there isn't a better signpost than a satisfied patient. Absolutely. And uh, we hope that our goal is to have a bunch of those and then advertising is something we don't have to do. Well, one of the things, Adam, that we ask every week on Talking Solutions is, what can we do to help you? It seems to me all we need to do is spread the word. And I, th- I agree. And I think that giving us an opportunity to come and tell you about our new ER is exactly what we need. And, you know, anything we can do, let us know. Is there anything that I've forgotten? I don't think so. It's pretty straightforward simple and sounds like very effective. Just a few weeks into it, you've got it up and running and it's functioning great and patients are happy and surprised that they get this amount of medical care so close. So maybe when you get your coffee next time, we'll get Joyce to call me and we'll get somebody to show you the the ER at the Lakes. I'd love it. It is a beautiful facility. It really is. 10,000 square feet. It's brand new. Probably has the best CAT scan maybe in the city. It's brand new technology. Everything is state of the art. When you walk around, you can see why we're excited. And it just really is a fantastic building. We're very excited. Hospitals are so huge and enormous structures, but this is that oh so important part of a hospital that is the emergency room for when we really need the help and we really need it now. And it sounds like you've got a great capacity, 12 different examining rooms. It has one focus and that focus is your emergency condition. And the only reason it's there is for whatever emergency situation you have, and it's completely focused on you. I think it's a winning concept. Another great thing that we have in Las Vegas. See, I was thinking about new things for the new year, and what a great way for our first show for 2017, er at com. And you're all over social media. See, now this is an emergency room for the new millennium. That's right. That's not true. Which, actually, it's funny because the new millennium kind of a ways into it now, 17 years into it. Scary, isn't it? Where does the time go? We so appreciate you taking the time to come and fill us in. There's so much more than I ever realized to ER at the Lakes, DI in Fort Apache. It's in our neighborhood. It's close. It's good to have it close by. More information at erathelakes.com. We'll have the links. All the info will also be available on our Talking Solutions page on Facebook, along with the podcast of today's discussion. Adam Rudd, CEO for Southern Hills Hospital, thank you so much for coming in to join us today on Talking Solutions. And thank you for having us.